You could wake up in the morning and be like, girl, you fat. You fat. You fat, like, mm. Or you could wake up in the morning and be like, you're gold driven, you're strong, and you are destined for greatness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So y'all, we back at it again with another tips and sets. And once again, I forgot to make myself a Honestly, we're just gonna have to bring it out with water again. Today I have. Oh my god, what is that? I don't know if it's like called the pineapple stem or whatever, but the thing that's in the middle of the pineapple. So yeah, that's what we're drinking today. You gotta stay hydrated, you gotta stay healthy. You know, with your little infused water. Today is more of a self-intimacy kind of video. Like I said before, I want my channel to be all about real life things. I want my channel to be to be relatable in a sense where we're talking about things that people naturally go through. And so that no one has to feel alone. Nobody has to feel, you know, left out or anything, you know? So, um, something that I'm aware we all go through is self-doubt we go through you know self-esteem issues we go through many different things you know we don't only go through um struggling with a relationship with other people but also with ourselves so that's why this video today is you know how to deal with insecurity obtain or practice self-love okay let me get my handsy dandy notebook okay so Before I get into this video, y'all, please like, comment, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend, tell them to tell their granddaddy, tell their grandmother, tell their baby mother, baby father, tell your math teacher, tell your bio teacher. Thank you. And we're going to get straight into the video. Don't forget to comment down below any more tips you have that you want to add on or what you don't agree with, what you do agree with. I don't care. Just comment. Let me know what you think definitely like this video and why don't you go check out one of my other videos while you at it all right so my first tip is to start your day every single day by telling yourself something positive okay now i'm aware that you know insecurity isn't and i also want you guys to also be aware that insecurity doesn't always come in the and I often think of it in that way, in the form of not being confident or having low self-esteem with your physical being. The type of self-doubt or insecurity that I will deal with is just simply being myself. It's all, It was always hard for me to be myself. And so, um, you know, I liked, I lacked confidence in myself when it came to being around people. I lacked confidence in myself when it came to aspiring and shooting for the stars shooting for my goals you know and youtube is one of the things i've always wanted to do youtube and i'm like what if people think i'm like a vegan what if people think this what if people think that and in real life right now i really could care less about what people think so these tips are definitely personal. These tips are definitely tips that I use my own myself. You know, I'm not just getting these tips from anywhere and telling you guys things. So definitely take heed into these tips and just know that they gonna help you out, okay? Okay. Now, I'm aware that some people deal with, you know, insecurity in a more physical sense. So you can simply name something that you love about yourself physically. You know, if you're dealing with insecurity and more of a mental sense, you can tell yourself like a personality trait or characteristic that you love about yourself. So simply, you can wake up in the morning and be like, girl, you fan. You fan. You fan. Like, mm. or you can wake up in the morning and be like, you're goal driven. You're strong and you are destined for greatness. Just tell yourself something great to motivate yourself in whatever way that you need the motivation. 
okay? And that's that. Step two is simply to love the skin that you're in. And I know that sounds very vague, but it means to embrace who you are, how you are. This step is just simply look yourself in the mirror and just understand that this is who you are, you know? And you should accept that being for everything that that being has within it and outside of it, you know? So if there's anything that you physically don't like about yourself, I want you to still practice looking in the mirror and saying, I'm still beautiful. Beauty is not defined. Beauty does not have a specific definition on what it looks like just simply love who you are inside and out you have to practice that because without loving yourself first you can't love anyone else you can't accept love from anyone else because that insecurity that self-doubt that lack of confidence that low self-esteem always play a part in everything that we do in life and so we have to practice becoming more confident both inside and out tip three basically is along those same lines and it's simply stop the comparisons now i know we go through a lot using social media all types we're exposed to all types of different things nowadays you know i even did some research on this like in school and stuff you know? You know, often we scroll, we scroll on Instagram, we scroll, scroll on Twitter, we scroll on Facebook, we scroll on Snapchat, we scroll on everything, okay? We even watch movies, TV shows, all types of stuff, you know? And we often see people with a certain type of body type, especially the one that's admired nowadays. And we're just like, you know, dang, like, I need the fat booty. I need the, I need the, I need, no, you do not. Like I said, beauty is not defined. Don't make the definition of most people, majority, or anybody at all become the definition of beauty for you, okay? So don't make the definition of beauty for anyone become the definition of beauty for you. When you think of the definition of beauty, you better be thinking about yourself. Number four, and all toxic relationships now this is only for some you know some people sincerely deal with you know self-doubt not because of other people so i'm this doesn't really pertain to you even though you should end all toxic relationships you should end all toxic relationships regardless however for the people who deal with others within their life that brings them down that talks down on them that tells them that they're not worthy enough that you know doesn't motivate them that just do all types of things that pulls your self-esteem your confidence just pull your mental down pull you down get rid of them and you know who these people are in your life if if i if you just sat here and i described somebody and a picture popped in your head you need to delete that person out of your life. They are not worthy of you, of your presence. Number five is simply to surround yourself with people who uplift you, people who make you feel confident, people who motivate you in every single way in life, whether it has to do with, you know, uh, getting a job, uh, you know, doing well in school or anything, getting your driver's license, like anything. Let that be the type of people that you surround yourself with because people like that can help build you up. People like that won't even know that they're helping you become a better person. They're helping you love yourself more than you've ever loved yourself before. And that's amazing when someone doesn't even know how great they are to you, but they're just sincerely just great to you. You know, keep those people in your life because those people genuinely want to see you strive, genuinely want to see you win, genuinely want to see you on the top. So tip six is simply to follow your passion. Now, 
if there's something that you genuinely always wanted to do, you're so interested in it, you probably never had the motivation to do it. You probably never had the confidence to do it. Push yourself to do it because that'll make you feel so confident, so brave, so powerful, okay? And trust me, this is coming from me who I've literally been through having something that I've always wanted to do, YouTubing for example, and just never having the confidence to do it. And now that I'm doing it, now that I'm making videos about things that I wanna make videos about, I don't wanna be make, on here doing makeup and hair all the time or anything, for the simple fact that that's not me. I'm not that type of person. So if I build content off of that, if I build an audience off of that, you guys are gonna expect to see all of that all the time, but that's not even me. Trust to believe that, like. So, I'm on here, I'm making content about the things that I care about, the things that I want to. I don't care about the views. I don't care about the comments of others, the thoughts of others, the opinions of others, unless it's good and it's motivational. I honestly care about it, so drop it in the comments down below. Trust me when I say, Getting into that thing that you've always wanted to do, following that passion, following that desire will be the best feeling ever, okay? So y'all need to get into that, I promise you. Tip eight is to express yourself in ways that you like, right? So we all have something that we enjoy doing, something that we love doing that help us just stay in tune with ourselves or become in tune with ourselves and something that just puts us at a peace of mind you know that's very important some people probably like going to the spa getting massages like things like that like just do something that gives you a peace of mind that stimulates you mentally and just makes you feel so relaxed and just happy you know um so for example i love singing i love music i can listen to some r&b for forever i can sit there and sing all day long like if i'm around someone too long or if i'm just out and about for too long i'd be like all right it's time to go home like i'm trying to be in my room i'm trying to be just by myself like i want to lay out by myself Okay. Number nine is to find a happy place. Um, like I just said, it's crazy how I just said, like, I want to be in my room. My happy place is simply my room when I'm alone in my room. This right here, you can't see the other side, but this is my absolute sanctuary. This is where I express myself. This is where I could write some poems. I could write, write some songs. I could sing my heart out. I can do all the homework that I missed. I can do all the applications for jobs and scholarships and yada, yada, yada. This is my peace of mind. My room with my door closed. Nobody else. Just me. My happy place. Your happy place can be the park, the beach, your bathroom, your living room, your kitchen, anything. Whatever it is, just find or think of a place that makes you just feel so relaxed, so happy, so just calm and in your element. And you just know where that place is, you know? Go to your happy place sometimes, if it's not within, you know, reach all the time or within your home or whatever. Go to it sometimes, just relax, do what you love. Imagine doing something that you love at your happy place. Our last one is to practice self-care. Now, if you're dealing with something physically, you know, um, I want you to know that your body is your temple, okay? You only get one. You only get one. And I know you hear this in health class. You hear this everywhere that you should eat, right? You should do this. You should do that. I ain't here to tell you all that. However, I'm here to tell you that if there's something that you do not love about yourself that can be changed, you go ahead and you fight for it, okay? Because this is your only temple. 
and when you take the best care of it when you love it when you show it the love that it deserves you feel just so amazing okay so i just want you to know that or you know anything you know just simply go get your toes done go get your nails done go get a facial like just really guys whether you are dealing with something physically or not take care of yourself maybe at home you can do your own mani manicure and pedicure maybe at home you just want to take a nice long shower or bubble bath you know anything just simply take care of your being because when you do put yourself together when you do freshen everything you mentally feel freshened as well is freshen the word i hope so so yeah that was my 10 tips on how to deal with insecurity how to obtain self-love let me know if you guys agree disagree or have anything to add on in the comments down below follow my instagram message me let me know if there's anything you want to speak about especially concerning you know topics that i've touched in my videos definitely go visit other videos that i've posted it's super interesting trust and believe that thank you guys for watching my video come back anytime okay and definitely subscribe like look in the mirror say bitch i'm the best best best